Thanks, Andy. Checking in with Jill Bella now. Jill's trying something, well, that's never been done before on breakfast television. Jill is doing the entire show upside down. <laughs> Oh. Oh, well, I'm starting on my feet here because I need to get into the upside down poses, but this is really cool. It's called anti-gravity yoga and we're here at Fit Republic, a uh, new space in Bridgeland and I'm being joined by Jane this morning along with a slew of beautiful students. Good morning, everybody. Oh, they're already upside down, so, so <laughs> they've started things off already. And uh, tell us a little bit about this method of yoga and what anti-gravity is all about. Sure, anti-gravity actually was developed by Christopher Harrison and it started out with yoga but it's actually developed into much more than that. So there's anti-gravity yoga but there's also anti-gravity fitness where we do fitness moves mm -hmm. and there's Pilates as well. So uh, Christopher Harrison actually uses it with his anti-gravity troupe. They used it to stay fit in between performing mm -hmm. as well as to help heal injuries amongst themselves. Okay, now this is actually the same technology that flew pink around the ground. It sure is, yeah. yes. And I but can we can why. do it too. It, it looks spectacular. So, okay, so we're using obviously scarves that are suspended from a ceiling and that's the only equipment that's used? That's it, that's all you need. Okay, now what are some of the benefits of uh, doing yoga poses and other you know, fitness moves in an anti-gravity form? With anti-gravity, you're actually, the hammock is allowing you to go into some deeper poses that maybe wouldn't be available to you typically because you have the support of the hammock. Right. Also, doing inversions, there's a ton of different um, benefits to doing an actual inversion. Mm -hmm. So it's also a way of keeping youthful. You're bringing oxygen to the skin. Yeah. And you can get into some pretty cool looking poses that you can't do on the ground. Yeah, absolutely. And you were saying people actually sometimes their height will change after a class. Absolutely. That is actually Christopher Harrison's guarantee that you can grow up to an inch taller by the end of your class. We've had some people grow even more than that. Really? Yeah. So by the end of the morning, I will be six feet tall. Yay! <laughs> Results are not cumulative. Or I'd be... Not cumulative. Uh, or you would be seven feet tall. Exactly. Okay, now what kind of level of fitness do you need before coming to a class? General level of fitness, you should be able to do a couple of sit-ups, but that's really about it. Everything else you can be guided through. Yeah. I can get pretty much anybody into an out of an inversion. Okay, so it's great for the core. It's yes. uh, you know, great for stretching, obviously, for flexibility, but also Wonderful for flexibility. strength. Yes, okay. and mobility in the joints, helping lubricate the joints, lengthen the spine. Mm -hmm. Numerous, numerous benefits. Okay, all of these things. Uh, I'm going to hop into a hammock here, still ahead, but check this out, you guys. This is what we're up against this morning. Ooh. And it's fun. And it's fun. It's so much fun. It's, it does look fun. It does look fun. It looks like it feels good, too.